In this short video, I'm going to introduce Online Deliberation Singapore or ODSG, the first ever online deliberation experiment uh, conducted in Singapore. So the project was um, supported by Ministry of Education and it was a collaboration among Civic Tech Lab uh, located at the National University of Singapore and uh, computer scientists as well as policymakers. We started with uh, 2006 uh, participants, uh, a quota sample that is as close to the national university, the national population as possible. Um, after our first round of survey, um, over a thousand uh, people showed interest to join our platform. However, only 510 users eventually signed up on the platform and joined. Uh, 456 users completed the second survey that was uh, posted to them after the deliberation events ended. We had a government agency partner, uh, which is the National uh, Population Task Force to help us with this project. Uh, back then, the population policy was a very controversy issue in the country. Uh, Singapore is a small country with about 3 million uh, people, but two uh, thirds are locals, one third are immigrants. The immigrants are mostly needed, needed because the uh, fertility rate uh, is low in the country uh, that needs manpower to fulfill the workforce needs. Um, so to discuss the population issue, we constructed a long online platform. The platform uh, resembles uh, ordinary discussion forum. So the participation was mostly in a written format. You can post the post that someone else can then re reply to your posts. Although the platform itself is no longer available, um, you can still find many details and documentations about this tool uh, through this website, the link here. Um, so uh, the process of this uh, project uh, went through like this. Firstly, uh, when the participants uh, joined, the platform, the first thing we saw was this uh, set of compulsory education material. So they're basically a set of interactive PowerPoint slides uh, where users can uh, study on their own pace. Um, during this uh, educational process, they were also asked to provide uh, their own opinions to think about other people's opinions. The materials not only train them about the issue, but also um, tell them how they are supposed to behave in uh, online deliberation space. So the platform looks like this. Um, there are three weeks of uh, three issues uh, to be discussed. Um, other than uh, the ordinary uh, layout, we have this component of uh, gamification uh, or reward system. So uh, through a posting uh, posts and answering other people's posts, this uh, platform uh, would give uh, users credits or points. And eventually the users can uh, use these points uh, to uh, get money, to get caches out of this uh, points. Um, the discussion structure looks like this, a traditional uh, forum uh, tree structure. So someone posted something, other people can then reply their posts, and then uh, all these posts are listed in that uh, sequence. Um, we have uh, an ideation uh, interface when uh, the users uh, decided to post something. Uh, they could choose among uh, whether they like to raise an issue, to give an idea, or to express an agreement and disagreement to the previous uh, uh, posts. So uh, this platform uh, was mostly very traditional, but there is one so-called cutting-edge uh, component which we uh, hope to use to visualize the overall distributions of uh, uh, arguments and discussions. So this visualization interface basically summarize uh, the post's main points uh, and then uh, try to link uh, these posts to other posts who have different arguments. Right? So uh, this visualization component is pretty much to give users a general view, an uh, overview about how the entire discussion is going. Um, so what we learned from this uh, three years uh, project, um, our first ever uh, deliberation, uh, online deliberation, uh, experiment in the country 
uh, although uh, first, although we started from random sampling of the population uh, due to self-selection and attrition, eventually we didn't really get a sample that's close to the population. Minority groups, especially those who have lower education, who have lower income and who are older, uh, were still less represented in our sample. Uh, we suggest that in the future, we should use purposive sampling to actually include these minority voices into the innovation process. Um, well, a uh, second uh, lesson we learned is uh, when we use uh, technology, uh, online technology to conduct innovation, we should use existing technology or the most familiar technology to the public as much as possible. Uh, remember that argumentation uh, to adjustment, uh, argumentation uh, visualization to just mentioned. Um, guess how many times that tool was used? Well, the average uh, number of times uh, a user clicked uh, the interface, the tool uh, was one. So basically, uh, on average, a user just clicked the visualization uh, once to see what's going to happen, then they stop using it. Um, so uh, our suggestion is to use common technologies, do not try to use cutting edge uh, technology, at least at the user side of the interface. Um, third uh, lesson we'd like to share is, although we had a partner, uh, which is a government agency, uh, we were not really able to uh, be very sure how the outcomes of the deliberations was actually integrated into their policy making. We did give them uh, the reports, we uh, made the presentations, we uh, sought feedback from our policy partners. Uh, however, we didn't see how uh, exactly uh, the policy regarding uh, population has been changed by this deliberation. So our suggestion again is uh, in the future, if you want to work with government agencies, maybe at the beginning, we make it very clear how um, you know, both parties would contribute to the deliberation project, maybe we contribute our research efforts, our platform building efforts, our moderation efforts, but uh, the government partners would have to contribute uh, basically their promises and willingness to integrate the outcomes uh, into policy making. All right, that's basically online deliberation Singapore in 2016. Thanks for listening.